Dear students, from today we are going to start our next modules, a series of modules on Microsoft PowerPoint. So Microsoft PowerPoint is a kind of software that helps you to make the presentations. So first of all, we should understand that why we want to make the presentations. So this can be understood by the presentations which we are having at the moment and you are trying to learn from this presentation. So the alternative method could be that I write all of the things on one Word document and then I uh, face uh, the tablet and then I start reading those text or I distribute all of the text to all of the students and they can read at home and that's it and there is no presentation. So then your learning might not be so strong because in the presentation we have very very small points which which are written in the text and then those points are explained in details then we can add some graphics we can add some pictures we can we add some uh, some live uh, interaction uh, of the uh, professor in that particular slides so such kind of things are not possible on a document and then in the presentation uh, different content is coming flying from somewhere and adjusting in the slide. So you can create uh, some kind of visualization or concepts that are really uh, very easier to understand. And in the presentations, always uh, remember that there is a rule of six by six. So which means that in your presentation, there should not be uh, more than six points. And each point should not be uh, more than six words. However, if you require, then you can add few more words to your presentation to make it more understandable. But this is the rule and you should try to follow to make an impress impressive presentations. And the next thing is that the font in your presentation should be very high. So for example, at least you should go with 26 font so that uh, your presentation is really readable but if there are many many small things in your presentation even then the smallest possible font should be 18 or above 18. So in today's module I will show you the Microsoft PowerPoint and we will see that what is the layout of that main PowerPoint window and what are the resemblances with uh, Microsoft Word, which we have learned in the previous module. So let's start the practical. So I have Microsoft Word installed on my computer. And it, this comes with the same Microsoft Office 2013. I clicked on new. So there are many different options available in new. So let's at the start, let's go with the simplest option. So here you can see that this is the main slide on which you can add whatever you want and these are different placeholders so you can add some text over here for example ITC and some subtitle at view right so we have discussed this slide and we have seen that uh, um, the placeholder is available over here with this dotted line where you can add whatever you want and we will be seeing in the next modules that we can add some other placeholders which can uh, store pictures images animations etc and let's see that what are the uh, similarities and resemblances uh, with microsoft world which we have learned so see in the file, all of the options are the same as in Microsoft Word, more or less. Then in the home, you can see the clipboard. Uh, the slide is new, but font is same. So for example, if you click on it, so this has we, we have learned in Microsoft Word. Uh, this paragraph we have learned in Microsoft Word. You have seen the bullets and numbering and spaces, etc. Uh, then drawing and editing is a little bit different. Then in insert, we have tables, images. So 
you know, shapes, smart art, charts, so almost all of the things which we have learned in our previous Microsoft Word are available over here. So in this uh, type of uh, presentations and modules, we will be more focusing on new things which are newly added in this. For example, in Home Ribbon, in the next um, uh, module, we will be focusing on slides. Uh, then in transition and animation, more specifically, to learn that what is actually possible and of course the design at what is actually possible to make an impressive presentation using this particular software. So let's conclude today's module. We have learned uh, that why we need the presentations and what the work are there which, we, which cannot be done in simple Microsoft Word. And we have seen the differences between document and presentation. We have seen the layout of main PowerPoint window. And we have seen that there are certain similarities. In fact, there are many, many similarities with the options of ribbons and groups available on the top as with, as with the Microsoft Word, which we have already studied. So in the next module, we will start studying more Microsoft PowerPoint.